Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Our Lady of Guadalupe charm because of a request I got in the comments. To make the head, roll out a ball of light skin colored clay and then use a small dotting tool to indent a mouth. Roll out two tiny balls of black clay and place them on the face, flattening them out for the eyes. Rub a Q-tip on a piece of pink chalk or pastel and gently dab it onto the cheeks for blush. For her dress, roll out a cone of red clay. Then roll out a snake of red clay and cut it into two sections for the arms. Place them both at the top of the cone and wrap them around to the front. To make her praying hands, I rolled out one ball of light skin colored clay and placed it in between the two arms. Place the ball on firmly so that it doesn't fall off. Then using an X-Acto knife, I made an indent along the ball to make it look like two hands praying. A really beautiful part of the picture of Our Lady of Guadalupe is her veil. To make it, roll out a piece of light blue clay and cut it into a U shape. Remove it from your work surface and then get ready to assemble. Place the head on top of the cone, gently pressing down so that you don't misshape the head. If it does get misshapen a little bit, Use your fingers to get it back into the right position. Next, place the veil on the head and gently wrap it around the sides. It might take a little bit of work to get the veil the way you want it, but just keep working at it and pushing it around until you like the way it looks. When you like the way the veil looks, trim off the end so that it's not hanging over the body. To make the gold trim around the edge of her veil, roll out a very thin snake and flatten it out slightly with your fingers. Then place it on the edge of the veil and press down firmly. Make sure you keep patting down with your fingers so that it's firmly attached and won't come off while baking. A very iconic part of the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe is that she's crushing the head of Satan beneath her feet. This is symbolized by two horns underneath her so I thought I had to add them. Simply make the horns by rolling out a thick noodle of black clay and cutting it into two sections. Roll out the ends of both sections so that they form points. Line up the two horns so that they're almost touching with the two ends that aren't points. Then place her on top of them. Push down so that they attach firmly and then shape the horns up and around Trim an eye pin and then place it from the top of the veil down through the head into the body. That way everything's secure. Fix anything you don't like and then bake it according to your clay's package instructions. Once it's baked and cooled, you can paint the stars on her veil. Use a very small paintbrush, I used one that I use for painting nails, and dip it into white paint. I just painted them with two lines. They kind of look a bit like crosses, but it's okay since it's such a tiny charm. Just do the best you can. Let the paint on her veil dry and then use a small dotting tool dipped in white paint to paint two small dots on the eyes. And now you're done. I hope you liked this charm and if you did, Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like it. If you have any more suggestions, leave them in the comments. And I will see you in our next video. God bless!